welcome to this video. Today we are talking about the 3590 AGT family and in particular the 3590 EGT8. 8 because this is an 8 inch touchscreen display, complete touchscreen. And <coughs> now we are going to look into the technical setup. The 3590 is a configurable indicator, so you can configure with basically whatever you need and in fact in the setup really easy to read and easy to uh, understand setup we can see that the first thing for, that we see here is the calibration inside here we can uh, go to the calibration of a single scale multiple scale up to four analog scale and we can do all the multi-range or multi-division and all the configuration of the calibration are inside this part. In the first programming, you can find the language change, the date and hour. We can find all the configuration of the uh, first part of the programmization of the indicator. So the more user part. Uh, here we see now AF03. This part of the setup is one of the only parts that change with each firmware. And the 3590 is capable of containing different firmware. So you can have the firmware for the totalization, firmware for the Weybridge, firmware for the, the piece counting and so on. So each firmware, each technical setup of each firmware contain in this part the function of that specific firmware. <coughs> Generic function are all the functions related to the tear, the zeroing, and function that are equal for each firmware. So nothing is different from, from firmware to firmware in this setup here. Uh, shortcuts, <coughs> the 3590, as I say at the start, is configurable. So if I want, I can connect and create shortcuts related to function. And I can even create sequence. So I can make a sequence of function, such as maybe an example, I want to tear a weight and then automatically after the tear, print the weight on the scale. And database, each firmware have different database. And from here we can configure the database so we can add or remove field of the database. If we click this button, we can move to the next page. The page are shown on the top corner. Now we are on the second or third. And here we can select now the input text. Input text, uh, they are a particular type of a database. You have only 15 uh, text available. So you can put basically in this field that we call input text, whatever alphanumeric data you need. Serial port. Here you can configure the three serial ports of the indicator, PC, AUX and printer. So you can configure your serial printer or you can configure the communication between PC and indicator. In printouts, you can configure the headings of the indicator. So you can change the three line of headings. External keyboard and barcode reader is the part of the setup that allow you to configure a uh, external keyboard so you can configure if it's a QWERTY or a ZERTY depend on the type of um, nation you are and barcode reader you can configure even the input of the barcode reader uh, remote scale the 3590 can have as, as I say at the start maximum of four analog scale connected and the fifth one could be a remote scale so it could be another scale in another place connected via, uh, by serial connection. Uh, digital outputs, they are available. The only digital outputs available are four by standard. There is, there is the possibility to increase them up to 16. And here we can basically configure them. So we can configure the function, the type of output, and if they are normally closed or normally opened. Digital input, same thing of the output, but for the input in this case. Remote control, we can configure the remote 
of the the possible remote we have connected usually to the 3590 and you can configure the remote to do simple function so you can configure the remote to do tear zero uh, you can do a printout from the remote and they are usually used in crane scale or in other type of application such as maybe a mobile wagging so you can configure the, uh, the the remote information from this part analog output is the analog output configuration so you can go inside here and do the calibration and select the type of analog output backup and restore is one of the important part of the setup because from here we can save the backup of the setup and we can do a restore and we can restore printouts a complete restore of the scale usually is the part that you want to use if you want to change the firmware or if something is went wrong and you need to start from the beginning diagnostic we have a complete diagnostic of the system such as battery level function um, touchscreen diagnostic wake diagnostic and they are all saved inside the last um, part we see here of the technical setup thank you for watching if you need any help and you can call us or contact by uh, website